Hey guys, Jessica here. So, um, not this last Saturday, but the Saturday before, my daughter went to her boyfriend's grandparents' house and had dinner and spent the day. They kind of um, celebrated their their anniversary of being together for two years. And uh, so me and her dad agreed, you know, that because they're elderly, so they've been taking extra precautions. Um, unfortunately, her her boyfriend's grandmother works for public health here and tested positive for COVID. And um, we didn't know, she didn't know, nobody knew. It's nobody's fault. Um, nobody knew and she tested positive and Aurora came back that evening and it was a couple days later that she tested positive, but Aurora came back and so far everybody was good. Um, so Saturday of this week, I started experiencing just, you know, kind of a lethargic, I don't want to get out of bed, you know, and I figured like, you know, I just kind of had a, I had a hard week and a hard weekend and I was really just emotionally drained. So I thought that's what's going on. I didn't want to go anywhere or do anything. And that started Saturday. Um, I just kind of woke up um, Saturday morning in a funky mood and I was fine, just tired. And by Sunday, I had started getting this headache that wouldn't go away. Um, so Monday of this week, uh, late in the evening, I started losing my sense of taste. And it's not, it's still not completely gone. I can still taste some things. It's just not as vivid. Would that be the word I used there? Vivid? Um, it's just kind of lacking. And uh, yesterday, I felt really crappy. And I went and I got tested. And, uh, well, I got tested. I got tested Sunday. And they said... Oh, it's inconclusive. By Monday, it was inconclusive, which didn't make any sense because, you know, it only took a day, and usually it takes three days or so to get your test back. Um, no, Tuesday morning they said it was inconclusive, so it was two days. But um, so yesterday afternoon, um, I went down and I tested again, and when I got there, I had a fever of 101. So um, they kind of went over my symptoms and. I, I do have the, the beginning of a loss of taste and the headache. It's hard to breathe. I don't know if you've noticed throughout this video that I'm losing my breath talking. Um, I can't raise my voice at all because um, I'm out of breath. And so, um, so I went and I did this thing and I tested and they gave me this. I don't want to show my address. So I'm just going to show the little top here. So this uh, order on September 8th of 2020, and it's isolation order for Jessica Smith. And basically what it states is um, I am in county ordered isolation for 10 days. I'm not to leave my home. Um, if I do and, and they find out that I did, I can go to jail and pay a really nice chunk of change for a fine. Um, this stuff is real and still people are, oh, I don't really believe in it. And, you know, so as somebody that that is immune compromised, so I've been trying to be as careful as possible. And, you know, I won't lie like I've hung out with friends because we've, we've had one group of friends um, that I've hung out during quarantine. And there's only, you know, like a handful of us so you know have a bit partying or really doing anything but um that's the situation and i i think i might be positive for covid i'll find out in three to five days um the results of this test and uh and honestly it really sucks um i'm very terrified uh, i'm scared that because of my immune compromise that I won't survive COVID. Um, so over the last two days, um, this morning I woke up still just out of breath and fever of 99.8. And um, so just like the fever keeps coming back. 
I'm very winded. Um, so that's what's going on. And they said if you can isolate yourself and, you know, from the rest of the people in your household, which is not possible, you know, um, Brian goes to work and I have to stay home with the kids. I have to take care of my children. So it's very, very touchy. And, and I am frustrated that people are still thinking that this is not a big deal. Um, so please wear your mask and wash your hands and do what you can to stop the spread of this thing because it's not going away. This has now been going on for eight months and there's so many conspiracy theories, you know, watch it disappear right around election time or, and you know what, maybe it will, but I can tell you from personal experience that I'm sick and I am scared and I have now been ordered by law by the County of Mendocino to isolate in my home for 10 days. If the test comes back positive, I'll isolate for 14. And so this is really hard. Like I don't really go a lot of places anyway, but, um, you know, handing me a documentation of service of the public health emergency isolation order for COVID-19 kind of made it real. Um, so I've been scared this whole time, but I've, I have not exhibited any symptoms of COVID in all this time. So I look like a troll this morning because literally I was just like, whatever, I'm just going to make a video. Um, I knew I had to check in with you guys. And so I just want to let you know that that's what's going on with me. Um, I've survived a lot of stuff in my life, a lot of stuff that should have killed me and I survived it all. And I don't want to be taken out by this coronavirus. You know, I haven't lived yet. I'm only 33, you know, but this sucks. It sucks really bad for me and it sucks really bad for my family. It sucks when you're told don't hug and kiss your children. Um, you know, don't, you know, put your hands on their cups that they're going to drink out of. So, it's just really scary. So, do what you have to to stop the spread. Let's get rid of this. Because um, I really thought, like, I'll be fine because I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything, and the one time I allowed my daughter to hang out with her boyfriend, um, and I can't even honestly pinpoint that that's where it came from. Um, that's just my only possible link right now, and so um, I'm just kind of paying attention to anybody I've been around and seeing if anybody else exhibits symptoms. I am not asymptomatic of anything. If I have something, I have the symptoms of it, for sure. So that's just what... I'm going through. So wish me luck. Cross your fingers for me. Um, and hopefully we'll can be able to continue chatting with each other and making videos and uh, hopefully I'll be around for a while to see my channel grow, to see my company grow and my children grow and you know, let's just fingers crossed. So thank you guys for listening to me ramble on. I'm going to go because I can't breathe and my dog is driving me nuts, but thank you guys for sticking around and I will check in in a couple of days with the results of that test. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Look, there's so many fires right now. Um, Yukai is completely surrounded. Yesterday, um, it went completely dark. That is outside of my bedroom window right now in Yukai. And so it's really bad. Um, it was pitch black yesterday, um, headlights on when I went to go get my test done, we had to turn our headlights on. Uh, it was, it was like 11 PM at two 30 in the afternoon. So stay safe. Oregon's on fire. Most of California is on fire. Stay safe. Um, stay in the house. Uh, don't do a lot of activity and just, uh, cross your fingers and hope for a better day because we need it. We need better times ahead. So, thank you guys, and I will chat with you in a few days. Bye.